Hey everyone, it's Jerusha. You're watching Jerusha Couture TV. Here today with another unexpected slash expected unboxing to show you. Yes, another surprise unboxing to show you guys as you can see by the title. This is quite a story, but I'm going to get into showing you first because, yeah, I've been seeing unboxings of late where people are cutting an unboxing, and I think it's so cool. So we're going to cut and show you here because it's like super original unboxing that way. You can see a struggle with the boxes and trying to cut them open and not cut ourselves and kill ourselves in the meantime. But... It is another unboxing from, oh, there's no wording in here, from Fashion File, another pre-loved item from Fashion File to show you guys. This, this, unbo this unboxing honestly was not planned at all and with large items I usually plan them and think about them but this I just totally jumped on total like impulse purchase saw it come up in my listing uh, and just jumped on it straight away so down inside the box I have my thank you card I have my fashion file uh, authenticity and receipts and everything down inside the card there so authenticity for life from fashion file this is their 2015 fashion blogger calendar which is really cool so that comes as well I opened it the wrong way around let's show it the right way fashion file so from inside the box is wrapped in paper see this is a sticker that I was reading last time on my GST new, used is the new new I love that I love that so much so from out of the paper we have plastic bag with my fashion file dust bag the item is in here I can't remember again what this listing came with if it came with a Chanel dust bag but they tend to put it inside as we learned from my GST and here is my surprise item to show you guys and me this is my first look at it because I obviously haven't seen it Woohoo! oh my goodness gracious me oh Lee Molly Wow okay so <laughs> this is my brand new to me jumbo Chanel flap in caviar leather black with gold hardware O M G Jesus, this is just divine. Wow. Oh, okay. This is just, ah, oh, I've just been hitting jackpot lately with these items. They, as I said in my GST, it barely looks used. So here it is. This is my brand new jumbo, Chanel jumbo flap. Uh, in caviar leather from Fashion File. I'm going to talk you through my thought process on getting this bag. But the main reason, I'm just going to tell you now, I'll tell you my thought process, but the main reason I got it, let's see if you can tell from the top. Look at those eyelets side by side, my friends. Yes, that's right. Side by side eyelets because that tells you that this jumbo is a single flap. Ah! Ta da! Oh my gosh, can you say jackpot to find a Chanel, a Chanel jumbo single flap caviar leather black gold hardware in good condition these days is so. God, God damn hard to come by honestly 
Chanel do not make the single flap anymore if you know that all the jumbos are made in the double flap uh, it is said to be a little bit more structure obviously because that's why they kept the double flap because it's more structure and it was the original design uh, by Coco Chanel but Karl Lagerfeld came out with the single flap and then they discontinued that after a while but so many people prefer the single flap a because it's lighter which I can already feel it it seems lighter than my my medium double flap my vintage but and because you don't have a double flap to contend with oh my goodness gracious me so there's bubble pack down inside yeah see it did come with a Chanel dust bag so there's a Chanel dust bag that it, the listing did come with now as I've been saying in my last couple of videos I do not care if a listing does not have an authenticity card it's just if the bag is authentic that is really all I care about at the end of the day all of that extra stuff like dust bag authenticity card or box is just a bonus but this didn't come with authenticity card the original card didn't come in the listing but it has its hologram sticker down in the bottom corner. I don't know if you can see that. It'll be on the side there. Yep, on the side. Um, and that's all that matters. And that it's been, it's authentic for life through Fashion File. So there is my beautiful, beautiful new jumbo. And my gosh, just from looking at it, it is in such good nick such good condition and it's a lot larger than a double flap medium sorry medium to large double flap i can tell you right now from eyeing it off it is so much bigger oh my goodness this is just stunning okay so my thought process and why did i pick this bag up another bag straight back to back after the gst the reason is this wasn't a want Obviously, it wasn't a need. I didn't necessarily think a jumbo was going to be in my collection. But when this listing came up and I saw it was a single flap, I jumped on this opportunity. I just did it pretty much for investment purposes. That if down the track I do want to sell it, I have that option in my collection. It truthfully was just an investment purchase. That's honestly what it was. And now, with the prices of Chanel going on a complete global parallel market that is the new news that's been released this week from chanel it's absolutely amazing news for some countries europe obviously they're going to be going up because it's going to they're going to create a benchmark and then stay at that price globally so it's almost like chanel has become its own commodity in the worldwide scale that's unbelievable but that's how much demand are on these items so it was pretty much led bull charge by china because everyone was flying over to europe to get bags cheaper so they had definitely decided a parallel market globally is the best way to go there's many different write-ups on it um, there's a great site that i've just found blog site called i think it's called purse bop or purse pop i'll leave the link below you can read their write up on it but it's really good and it's it's difficult to understand because it's also a very financially economical uh scheme that chanel have done and it's brilliant actually so it's uh, you know it's a change for everyone in some countries the prices will come down which you know is a good thing but also they will fluctuate and go up in the future as well as usual but i did want to get my hands on this at this point in time because of that so that is my little thought as to why I went ahead and grabbed this beautiful beautiful bag on the back it has the large uh, iconic pocket as well and once again it's a single flap so shout out to my gorgeous friend Kat Mwah, I chatted all day about it with her and of course my best friend Jen she has this bag so of course I ran it past her and I'm so, so happy to just get my hands on this great investment piece. 
you know, and maybe down the track it may suit me, it may not, so that's really, it's a great option to have in my collection. So I'm super proud of this find from the one and only Fashion File. Check them out. As I always say, I get many questions about Fashion File, being a Fashion File blogger. I get, let's move this so you can see it. I get many questions about Fashion File, being a Fashion File blogger. Mostly I get asked what's it like dealing with them. Uh, on a business level it's brilliant honestly if you take your bags in to be a customer for them meaning you're selling your bags on consignment with them uh, they tend to get back to you within sort of one to two days on valuing your bag so that's good they have good service good customer service just be very clear with what you want I think with consignment you always should be very clear very chance transparent you shouldn't sort of agree to disagree or just sort of agree because someone's telling you to so always be very clear uh, so very good customer service and then obviously buying from them it's just absolutely foolproof they email you they let you know they let you know when you've purchased it it's all those automatic responses which keep you feeling really calm like you know the bag is definitely yours you definitely you know bought it it's not it's not like you pressed put in my cart and you press checkout but then it's like an eBay bid where you lose or something like that so that sort of side of it is really really good and then I've heard from friends and other youtubers that going into their boutiques is just like an amazing amazing experience and I would just love to go over and see my girl Sarah and see the boutiques in America so maybe an American trip for Jerusha is in store and uh, yeah so that would be really cool as well I love blogging for them I love talking about them because I think a really good strong consignment store is fantastic because trust me pre-loved is the way to go I get asked all the time why I buy my Chanel bags pre-loved and the answer is completely simple I will not pay the absolutely hiked prices that Chanel have especially here in Australia so that's also good why it's becoming a, a level market across the globe because you know uh, Europe are going to be paying what we pay for a bag all the time like we're so used to it like this bag right here is nearly eight thousand two hundred dollars or something in Australia or high seven seven nine seven nine eighty or something new brand new for a, um, a jumbo so Europe are going to be having a taste of what we always have to pay for Chanel handbags uh, but yeah I just absolutely will not fork out that kind of money for a new Chanel handbag plus I like to buy pre-loved I like the story behind pre-loved I love the story behind vintage I think that's just me really that's just my preference it's what I like to do so yeah that's what I stick to and that's my story thank you so much for taking the time to watch this unboxing guys I know another surprise unboxing I hope you enjoyed it uh, thumbs up for Chanel thumbs up for unboxings thumbs up for price scheme that they're trying to do let me know what you think below about it it's super duper interesting check it out research it on google see where you can find out about it and to understand it a bit more i hope everybody is doing really really well and i will see you in my next video take care guys peace